Hello and welcome to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Lynn Fairchild and with Pensick right around the corner, I wanted to show you how I make a simple bonnet, otherwise known as a flat cap. Now your flat cap can be decorative. As you can see, I've put pearls on the edge of mine. It can be decorative. It can be very simplistic. This is one of my first flat caps that I made. And this thing is probably at least 20 years old. But before we get into everything, make sure to select thumbs up that you like the video. It helps with the algorithm. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and please click subscribe and ring that bell to be updated with updated when new videos come out. So in case you missed my previous video on flat caps or bonnets, these hats have been around since at least the 1300s. They originally were woven and they were worn by the peasantry. But as we progress into the 16th century, they began to be worn by the merchant class and the nobility class. But as you get higher up with the merchants and the noble class, then that's where you find flat caps that were made out of silk or very expensive wool. Black seems to be the favored color, but there were other colors used. I have found at least two historic examples of red being worn on the men's bonnet, but again, black seems to be the color that most people like to wear. Also, when looking at portraits, I tend to find that there are more men wearing these flat caps, but there are occasionally women who did wear flat caps. Men who wore these bonnets or flat caps just simply wore the hat as their head covering with nothing else. Women, on the other hand, specifically in the nobility class, they wore flat caps, but they wore it with something else. For example, a hairnet think sort of like a snood or with a call, a coif, there was something else and the hat was just part of the decoration. For example, this is not a historically accurate snood. It has elastic in it, but this gives you kind of an idea of what women would wear with the flat cap. So to get started, the first thing you need is a measuring tape. And with this, you are going to measure around your forehead, around your head, just like this, to see what your circumference is for your head. And mine is 22 inches. The flat cap pattern that I'm going to show you today is very simple. It does not have any lining in it. It does not have any wires in it. It is about as simple a pattern as you can get. Once you have your head circumference, remember mine was 22 inches. Well, if you take 22 and divide that by 3.14, which is pi, well, the first two decimal points of pi, you will get seven inches. So seven inches will be your diameter. Now remember, these measurements can vary depending on the circumference of your head and also where you want the hat to sit on your head. So once you have the circumference, then you will divide it by 3.14 to get the diameter, and then that will be the diameter for the inside circle. Again, the circumference of my head is 22 inches. If you divide that by 3.14, you wind up with seven inches. But if you look here, the diameter of my hat is only about six inches. That means this hat will sit snugly on top of my head rather than more loosely around the middle of my forehead. This hat, however, has a larger diameter, which means it is closer to the seven inches and this fits more loosely on my head. To give you a quick visual, this is the hat with the larger diameter in it. And as you can see, I can pull it down on my head. So that 22 inches divided by 3.14 to give me a seven inch diameter. It's best to use a sample 
before you cut your fabric. That way you have a pattern, either get cardboard or scrap fabric because again, this was one of my first hats I ever made. And as you can see, it's a little loose. And then this is the one that has the six inch diameter and it sits right on the top part of my head rather than going down on the forehead. This is about as far as I can pull it. So part of this just depends on where you want your hat to sit on your head. And then the other thing to think about for your measurements is the brim and the hat itself. How wide of a brim do you want? So now that you've seen what both hats look like on me, this hat has about a two inch brim. And this hat has about a one and a half inch brim. So for today's project, I am going to use this green hat as the basis for my pattern. And if you look, the outside circle is 10 inches, but also you have to remember that there's, you have to allow for seam allowance. So I might do 10 and a half, no more than 11 inches. And then on the inside, the diameter is six inches. Again, this varies depending on the size of your head, the circumference of your head, where you want the hat placed on your head, and also how wide you want your brim. Once you have your measurements, now it's time to start cutting. One more quick thing I wanna show you is to give you enough visual. So I folded the hat in half, and now I'm going to fold it in half again. And so now I have a quarter of a circle. And this is where I will have my measurements. This is three inches, and this section is two and a half inches. And I will be putting that on the fabric here for my measurements for the inside and the outside circles. And also for today's project, I am using, these are, I believe they're pants that were part of Gold Key that has been retired. And so it's fabric that, well, I'm going to use to make a hat.
So if you want to take the easy way and just sew the brim onto the hat like this and show off the seam, this is what it will look like in the end. It's not pretty, but it's on the underneath side and no one really sees it. And if that's what you want to do, then you would just gather these three pieces of fabric. So the two from the brim and the one from the hat. And you would just pin it together. Like that, pin it all the way around and then sew. But with me, what I want to do is I want to make it so that you do not see the seam right where the brim meets the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the inner layer of the brim, so that would be this layer here, so this layer, and I'm going to pin it to this layer, leaving this layer open, and then I'm going to hand stitch this layer into the hat when I'm done. So here's what the hat looks like pinned. So this layer is pinned to this layer, and then this top layer is not attached. So if you can see in there, there are the pins. And now I'm going to sew that together. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the left hand side. Remember to select thumbs up that you like the video. If you have questions or comments, please post them below and please click subscribe and ring that bell to be updated when new videos come out.